In the 10, the controversial renovation of San Francisco's Castro Theater is scheduled to go before the city's land use committee next Monday. The proposed renovation would remove some of the seats to make way for concert performances at the venue, but opponents of the plan say the movie palace style seating should be protected as part of its historic preservation. KTV's Janet Katsuyama joins us live now with What's Ahead on Monday. That's right. It's going to be another vote. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman proposed including the sloped movie theater seating as part of the Castro Theater's landmark designation. Well, his proposal is up for a final committee vote on Monday, but more than 100 Castro merchants are objecting, saying they support the renovation plans that would remove the seats. As iconic as the rainbow flag on Market Street, San Francisco's Castro Theater has been a fixture since 1922. Now, the battle over the movie Palace's place in the future is facing a critical crossroads. So many of us were afraid to say anything. Terry Aston Bennett is owner of Cliff's Variety Store, just a half block away from the theater. She's speaking out, joining more than 100 other Castro merchants who signed a petition in support of another Planet Entertainment's proposal to renovate the old movie Palace. Another planet has faced opposition over their plans to replace the sloped seats on the main floor with removable seating that would allow for open space as a venue for concerts and other events. Another planet says expanding options is critical to stay in business as movie attendance has dropped with customers opting for online streaming options. When they've brought in concerts and things like that, you hear the younger generation of the neighborhood getting excited and wanting to come out and be part of things, and that's important too. Castro merchants say the Castro Theater's restoration and future viability is important to a neighborhood where they say 25% of storefronts are now vacant. We are most interested in the benefits economically and culturally to the neighborhood. How will another planet's business model affect our daytime businesses, our nighttime businesses, our restaurants, our cafes and bars? Opponents of the plan staged a Save the Seats protest this week, saying ripping up the seats would destroy the historic character of the venue. This month, at public hearings of the Land Use Committee, hundreds of people gave emotional public testimony. And on Monday, preservationists gained a win, as the committee voted two to one in favor of preserving fixed theatrical seating configured in the movie Palace style. Still, Castro resident and activist Kevin Scott says he and other supporters of Another Planet's renovations are not giving up. The Board of Supervisors does not have to accept the recommendation from the Land Use Committee. And then beyond that, it's up to, uh, I believe, the permitting department to make the ultimate decision. And they also could choose to disregard the, um, the inclusion of fixed seats and the sloped floor. The three-member land use committee meeting is scheduled for 1.30 p.m. Monday for a final vote on Supervisor Mandelman's amendment, and then it could go before the entire Board of Supervisors on May 2nd for a vote. So we can see that this battle is not over yet. Yeah, and something we know you will continue to follow. We will look for that vote on Monday to see what happens next. Jana Katsuyama live in studio for us. Jana, thank you.